there is a new breed of wrestling in era which will never be defeated. fans, this is Cell Sanchez welcoming you to another exciting hour of New Breed Wrestling. I'm coming to you live from our satellite studio in Muleshoe, Texas, where we're going to bring you something a little different, a little something you haven't seen in two seasons here on TV. We're going to have an in-depth interview live via satellite with one of the rising stars of New Breed Wrestling, Mr. Burt Candy. We'll learn more about Bert, what his aspirations are in pro wrestling, and view some of his favorite matches in New Breed history. So sit back and enjoy, and grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling. Oh, Burgandy! It's me, Burgandy. Ah, uh, can't believe you wanted to interview me, Sal. Wow, do commentary with a guy one time, and all of a sudden he's like, can I interview you? That's pretty hyped. Anyway, thank you. Wow, thank you so much. I'm uh, excited to be here. What do you want to know? So, Bert, welcome. Glad you're here. I know who you are, but well, why don't you tell our viewers at home a little about yourself? I'm from the land of wizards and dolphins. That's right. There's nothing but magic there. That's why I'm so uh, special. So, Bert Candy. How did you come up with that concept? Oh, the name Bert Candy. Well, you'd have to ask Mama Bert Candy and Papa Bert Candy, because uh, that's just my name. I have to ask, why pro wrestling? When did you become a wrestling fan? And what made you want to enter this crazy business of professional wrestling? Do you believe in love at first sight, Sal? Do you believe in uh, Do you believe in love at first sight, Sal? Well, I didn't, because I was five years old. I didn't even know what love was until I saw uh, Yokozuna smash his large rumpus on the face of some dude. I don't even remember who. I don't know. Probably a jobber. But uh, oh, it was beautiful. His face, just with the entire butt cheek, smashed into the canvas. It was love at first sight, Sal. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It was beautiful. And I wanted to do that. I went to math class. Now, I'm not going to say that I had smashed my butt cheek across some dude's face. I didn't know how to do that yet. So I just jumped off the desk onto another guy. Sorry, Eric. Uh, <laughs> teachers didn't like that, you know. They said, Burkandy, you got to wait. You got to wait until you're older. I went to a Catholic school, so everyone was from New York. <laughs> but I tell you what, though, the fans love them here in Macon, Missouri. That's kind of making me sick. Oh, look at them high-fiving all these kids. All these kids are little, little slammer maniacs, little candy maniacs, whatever you want to call them. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, man. But this place is erupting. 
the capacity crowd here in Macon, Missouri. Oh, sitting down on this one. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Shipwreck's kind of, he's playing air guitar or belt guitar. Wait a minute, he's got a belt. I just realized that. Oh, I too looks frustrated. There's a slammer maniac. Oh, uh, looks like I too. I too, I think he wants out of this match. He's talking to the little kid there in the front row, asking if he wants to switch places. I don't know. Oh, nice coordination there by Shipwreck. I think Shipwreck thinks he's at a karaoke bar or something. Uh, it looks like Money Mike and uh, I too might be looking for a new partner because it looks like this might be a trios match or a handicap match. I don't know, Money Mike may have to tag in there. Oh, I'll get in there, Benny. Don't tip me. I'd like to get my hands on that Burke candy. But I don't think they reinforce that ring. You know? When I slam them down, it's going to break the, that ring for sure. So Shipwreck's in there cheering with the other team. Oh wait, was he gonna have some rum? And you know what would be really nice though? I really want to see the day that Slammer signs up to be a member of the system of brutality. I feel a little Hollywood Slammer coming in there. A little slam world order just waiting to come out. It's just a matter of time, Benny. One of the members of our audience saying he's on the wrong team as Shipwreck starts out with Atu. But I think Atu is just trying to pull him back over to the corner. Oh, the match has officially started. Shipwreck looks confused. He doesn't know who to wrestle. And Slammer ready to go, extending his hand in friendship. Oh, but Shipwreck going after referee Chris Ward. I don't know, he sees those uh, stripes there. He might be thinking prison stripes. You know, like I said before, Shipwright's gotta be like Otis the Town drunk, so I'm sure he's uh, very familiar with the jail cell. And again, this match underway, but Shipwright now taking over as the ref. I don't know what's going on. And it looks like perhaps uh, referee Chris Ward is now a team partner. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what's going on, Vinny. I'm confused. And again, Chris Ward trying to get the uh, match started here. Oh, and Shipwreck falls straight onto his face. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> But I too makes the save. Applying that chin lock and wringing uh, that arm. As he goes in for the squish, but misses. Shipwreck moves in, moves out of the way, running to make a time. 
Oh, and they're hugging it out. Oh, how cute is that? That makes me sick, Vinny. So now it looks like we have a sumo match starting as both guys get down into the starting sumo position. Oh, but Shipwreck way overpowered by the big Burt Candy as he takes refuge outside of the ring. There we go, finally consulting with his manager, Money Mike. Oh, wait a minute. Shipwreck just stole Mike's glasses. Those are like thousand dollar Armani glasses. Oh, I hope he doesn't break them. Not anymore, they're not. Things are about to get serious. And again, looks like we're going to have a two. And Burt Kenny going in for a sumo, but a kick sends him right over as a two using the ropes there for leverage. Referee warning him. Cameraman Disco dude getting a great shot there for our folks at home. As Burt Candy shakes it off. And here we go. Little bobbing and weaving there like Muhammad Ali. Congratulations, Muhammad, making it into the uh, Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Well, reversal goes in for the big splash, and that's going to hurt out too. Oh, and a big right hand sends him right over. And out too, looking for a little break there. Shipwreck and Money Mike over there. Looks like Shipwreck is like trying to rob him. You know, Money Mike's got some gold. And he's got some treasure on. You know, pirates like gold. Oh, shoulder block, but didn't phase the, either man. Going for it again, hits the ropes, going right against Burke. And they collide like two big steam engines. Oh, and that clothesline sends them down. Burt took him a little while to realize where he was, Vinny. Uh-oh. Yes, and it looked like he was going for that tag, but once again on the opposite side of the ring, using the ropes. Bird on the ropes, though. Referee warning him as they move it over. Now, a two over into his own corner, getting splashed. Uh-oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, no! Not the blister. Yes. The okay, thank you. I, I almost said something else that I probably couldn't have said on TV. We'll go with Twister. Oh, trying to do that snap mirror, but can't get him over. <laughs> Works too big. <laughs> and again... Bird just holding Shipwreck. Shipwreck not doing any damage at all to him. Uh-oh. But, oh, he went for the tag, but he tagged in Slammer. Not a legal tag, but another roundhouse right sends him down. And another right forearm. Uh-oh. And he's caught up in those ropes again, rolling around. You know, with him as, as drunk as he is, that's gotta that's gotta make him dizzy, man. He's already dizzy. 
Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I think Shipwright needs to uh, needs to tag out. There he goes. Oh! Fireman's carry up and over. Only a one count though. Could be as uh, two men exchange blows there in the center of the ring. Oh! What a nice move by Shipwreck. I gotta give it to him right there. Oh, but we've seen that before. Little spank to the uh, posterior seems to be one of the, his signature moves here. I'm gonna have to try to ask him sometime what he calls that, but you know, we have a little bit little bit of trouble communicating with him. All I can really well understand is rum. And here we go. But only a two count. Optu tried to come in to make the save. And a tag out to Burt Candy. Here we go, whip across. Candy coming in, big splash! Oh! Oh, I don't think he knows where he is. Oh, and now Slammer going after him. You know, on the way into town, I did see a drive-thru liquor store. And I saw a pirate ship parked out there. Now I know why. I didn't realize that Shipwreck was going to be here tonight. Shipwreck going in with those headbutts. I'm sorry, that's a girl thing. Probably not. Oh, he's riding him like a like a bull, like a mechanical bull at the bar. Oh, so we got wrestling and rodeo. Fans here getting a treat in Mecca, Missouri. I did notice it was like a little rodeo stadium over there. Perhaps they can move it over there and do some uh, Bronco busting or something. Oh, referee distracted though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute. Referee looking right at him. Referee's looking right at him. Oh, this cannot be good. Oh, he gave him a sucker. He gave him a sucker. Oh, super kick to the sucker. And the sucker goes down. That's a, oh no, did he swallow that thing? I hope he didn't swallow it. There goes his guy. We might need to do surgery to get that sucker out of his mouth, out of his gullet. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. Oh, and Shipwreck pulls out referee Ward. Otherwise, I believe that could have been a three count. As Shipwreck and Slam are going at it there outside the ring, Shipwreck took his head Straight to the solid ring post. And here we go, tag out to Slammer. A Slammer comes in. Oh, double team effort, full steam ahead. And on two, fighting back with all his might, trying to give it his own to stay in this matchup. Whip across the ropes, there's the boot. There's the boot. Oh, he's slamming up. He's slamming up, there it is. We all know what's coming. We all know what's coming. I don't like it, Vinny. I'm going crazy. I'm throwing things. Oh, I feel like beating up somebody. Oh, there we go. You're lucky, Vinny. I felt like beating up somebody, and you're the closest person to me right here. I have anger issues. I can say that. Oh, but wait a minute. 
it looks like. Now, we saw this before a couple weeks ago on TV where Money Mike just left the building with his partner still in the ring. You know, we saw that Four Corners Tag Team Elimination match, and we saw Atu teaming up with, with um, Bobby Joe Black. And they left him in the ring just like they're leaving Shipwreck there to fend for himself. Shipwreck takes that big boot. And he is. I don't know. <laughs> He's somewhere. I'd say Puerto Rico. They're known for wrong. Uh-oh, calling for the leg drop. Calling for the leg drop. Slammer is pumped. Here we go. Oh, drops that big leg. That's got to be it. And that's the three. And the crowd's going wild here. Making mania. And this is just... Our opening matchup, we've got so much more on the way. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Here at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Elton, Missouri, we have several free services like checking the scan tool to check your check engine light or battery alternator testing. We also check fluids, change bulbs, and batteries unless professional installation is required. Come and see one of our professional parts people today or call 573-392-3341. Elden Tire and Brake is your full-service auto repair shop located at 210 East 4th Street in Elden, Missouri. We specialize in mechanical repair, new and used tires, and complimentary state vehicle inspections. Let our auto repair professionals show you that you can trust Elden Tire and Brakes. Make your appointment today. I was trained by a uh, smooth, satin David Catton down at Raytown. He, uh... He taught me how to wrist lock. He taught me how to tie up. He taught me how to lace these boots and never give up. But one thing he didn't teach me was how to have a beautiful Burt Candy smile. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, he was cool to train under until he started to beat me up a lot and then threw me through a table. But, uh, you know, we'll talk about that another time. Who do you consider some of your inspirations? Oh, Sal. You are asking such personal questions. Oh my god. Well, Yokozuna, because uh, he slashes his butt into people's faces. Uh, Rikishi, also. Nia Jax, also. Uh, Monster Ripper, aka Bertha Faye. You know, she's awesome, amazing. Devil Masami. Uh, Minami Toyota. I love people that. Uh, Get beat up and don't give up. Because, you know, kids, if you get beat up but you don't give up, you might lose. But everyone's going to be like, wow, that was awesome. And that feels kind of cool. Feels better than just losing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, my favorite of all time is Giant Baba, my twin. People actually often say, Bert Candy, you look just like Giant Baba. I say, shucks, no, I really don't, but thank you, thank you. They say, yes, you do, that's crazy, it's, is that your dad or something? No, I'm not a second, general, second generation wrestler, no, I was, 
born in a land of wizards and dolphins. You know, they don't have wrestlers there. They just have wizards and dolphins. Weird place. It's not Florida either. People always ask me that. We've seen you win tons of matches, making a name for yourself. You've had quite a few memorable matches here in New Breed Wrestling. What would you consider some of your favorites that you've had so far? Oh, man. My favorite New Breed matches so far. Well, I don't know about favorite, but the most uh, memorable one for me is the hair match against Daniel Maxson, RIP, and uh, Dr. Eisen. He came in and kicked me in the face. Private practice, shaved my head, Money Mike, thank you. Uh, I think Kurt Gannon came out. He stood there strong. I won't go mess with him. He can suplex anyone. I actually went to the beach the other day. I seen him. He was just suplexing sharks, so I went home. It's like, I'm all right with that. I didn't even know Kansas had sharks. Anyway, another favorite match of mine, Dr. Isaac, speaking of. He kicked me in the face, so I got to face him in the championship match. And I was going to win. I literally was about to jump off the, the freaking rope. And Money Mike came out and distracted me. And guess what? I lost. Because Dr. Eisen is a big fat cheater. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Breed Squared Circle. Coming to the ring, the Thurman Merman Jack Black mashup, Burt Candy. Looking like something out of the Wizard of Oz, like he should be leading a lollipop guild or something. But we're about to see him looking like Uncle Fester in just a little bit. Hair versus hair match as he gets ready to go up against Dirty Deeds, Daniel Maxson. And one of these guys is leaving Sedalia with a bald head, just like Gordon over there. <laughs> out there giving candy to the crowd again I don't know I don't know why the parents didn't teach these kids to not take candy from a stranger but all of them are going up to this guy and again big fan favorite here as the fans hugging him because this is going to be the last time they see him with that, those long locks of his. When it's done, he's going to be looking like our security guard Larry over here. Larry, a big Burt Candy fan. I know he's going to be in tears and if he loses his hair tonight. A part of private practice, he is Dirty Deeds. And here he is, member of private practice, along with Money Mike Pettis. Talking about Daniel Maxson. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, along with Money Mike Pettis from private practice. Money Mike, the millionaire, the zillionaire, the motivational speaker, the man who, uh oh, and fans are already upset. They are not fans of Money Mike at all. So this is gonna be interesting here as we get ready for our big open our big contest match that we've been waiting for for weeks here 
as the contract's been signed for quite a while, we've seen the vignettes, all the promos over the last few weeks here on Square Circle. And now we're finally seeing the match. I could be wrong, but I believe in the four or five years that I've been with New Breed, I've never seen a hair versus hair match here tonight or before. So, making history here, unfortunately, is the new commissioner. Although, I believe Scotty Z actually signed this match. Referee Dorn Atkins checking out Dirty Deeds. Someone needs to check Burt Candy for Tootsie Rolls and Blow Pops. And again, Daniel Maxson not liking being checked here. Oh, wait a minute. What's Candy doing? What's he got? Oh, he's breaking out the scissors. Come on now. You're not Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Who do you think you are, Bert? And the fans there at ringside telling Daniel Maxim what they think of him. The man there in the uh, black and all black does not like Daniel Maxim at all. And here we go, early attack by Maxim going in and beating on Burt Candy. Oh, holding the ropes. And not able to budge the massive Burt as Burt retaliates. Oh, big headbutt on the side and a forearm to the back of the chest. Uh-oh, he's pulling down the straps on the same leg. Oh, what a big, huge chop. And Maxon's in trouble. And here we go, we see Money Mike trying to help his man out. Oh, here we go. Maxon in the corner. A big chop by Burt Candy sends Maxon to his knees. And he's trying to make his way over to the other corner. Here we go, Burt Candy following up with like an elbow, I'm sorry, not an elbow, but a knee and another big headbutt. We've seen quite a few of those here recently. They've been pretty effective on Dirty Deeds, Daniel Maxson. Here we go, whips him into the ropes. Balancing himself there on the second row. What's Maxon got in store? Oh! Kind of like a cannonball, but there across the ropes instead of in the uh, corner. Burt Candy getting up. Over in the left corner of the ring, Maxon follows up with the knee, I'm sorry, with the boot to the gut. Almost kind of like a Itsuguri there, went over the top. And Burt Candy seems to be a little dazed now. Maxon fighting back, shoving him a little bit. And there's the uh, right, and another right. Oh, and a big one by Maxon sends him all the way over to the corner and crashing down onto the uh, canvas. Oh, Money Mike up on the rain apron having words with 
with the referee and with Bird Candy. Oh no! Look at this. Here comes Teeter once again. I don't like this. Someone get that Teeter out of here. Every time he comes out, it's not good. Oh, this is not right. Commissioner Teeter sending Marty Mike Pettis to the back, ejecting him from ringside. That's not right. You know Money Mike wouldn't interfere in this matchup at all. I don't agree with that, but here we go, back to the action. And Candy taken down by Dirty Deeds, Daniel Maxson. Splash sends him down. And here we go. Uh oh, and who is this? Look at this. What's up, Anita's fans in pro wrestling? You know, I just uh, I wanted to want to be out here at ringside in case uh, Money Mike or any of his goons wanted to run out in this match. There's too much on the line, you know. I like uh, I like Mr. Uh, One Night Stand, Burt Candy's little uh, his bleach blonde hair. He looks like a looks like a surfer boy out there. Well, I tell you what, after this matchup, he's gonna be looking like Uncle Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. Let me tell you that. Uncle Fester's actually one of my favorite Adams Family members. So you're acknowledging he would look good bald? I never said Burt would look good good bald. No, no, never said that. Bert, Bert is a fine competitor. I believe in Bert. Believe in Bert. Believe in Bert. I used to until he double crossed Money Mike on Christmas of all days. You you remember the neatest Christmas party? He just remember that he wanted to come to my Christmas party. I was at Money Mike's. I know we've had this conversation. <laughs> Here we go only a two count. Bert Candy making his way up to his feet. This is not looking good. Big kick to the back. And that's going to take a toll. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought we were going to see that steamroller coming up. Fans always love that steamroller. You know, Bert Candy it has... Some some unique offensive maneuvers. Looks like oh, couldn't put him away with the world's strongest slam. Uh, what? But what's Burt call that? Uh, gummy bear slam? I, mean, I don't know. I, oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I can slam some gummy bears. I love gummy bears. Back and forth with the slaps. I mean, this is. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh, oh shirtless now. Put it Bam. back on. We are. Uh, come on, guys. This is uh, this is family friendly yeah, show here. I think we're gonna have to black out uh, some things, work some things out on TV here. And dirty deeds digging down deep there. Oh man, Bert Candy back. I think he got him right in the throat with that yes, one. Actually, in trouble. Oh, I thought Bert had him right there with the throat punch. You know, these two See, I was just talking about his unique offensive maneuvers. You know, I mean, when's the last time you just seen a throat punch? Just boom. Yeah, I, I will admit he's got some non-traditional moves uh, there in the ring. What about the What about the pink break. handkerchief in the in the in the in the waistbands of the tights? When's the last time you seen that? I haven't seen that. I mean, oh! whoa! I hope, I hope referee Gordon Atkins has a good chiropractor. Well, you know, Dr. Ison's in the house. Maybe he should. I, I said a good chiropractor. Hey, all night through Guadalajara, baby. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. We have no referee in the ring. 
Money Mike's been ejected. The commissioner's right here watching everything. And Bert following up with some fights and then a chop. Burns back in control of this one. Yeah, it's not and looking we, good. Like, not referee looking Gordon good. is uh, he's he's showing some movement down there. Oh no, where's Burke going? Going, he's going all the way up. Has his ring been reinforced? Well, I I have the neatest ring crew now. Oh, yes, he's done. Five, two, three, one. Oh, here comes the doctor. Oh, no. Dr. Ison, what? He's not supposed to be here. Come on, no. well, well, but, uh, him, him and Burke Candy are friends, Gordon, though. Look, Gordon needs help. Oh, they have been hanging out together. Come on, they, they're friends, though. Come on, come on. No. Well, this is going to be a dilemma here because, of course, it's friends with Burke Candy. Maybe he's, team, man, I think Dr. Dr. Ison's got a decision to make here, man. Who's, who, who's he going to Who's he going to help? And then you Private practice down. member, Dirty Deeds, or longtime friend, Burt Candy. Burt Candy, look at him. He's offering. Oh, that's a, that's a peace oh, treaty a right there. there. Yeah, yeah, peace of candy, a sucker. Look at that sucker. Dr. Eisen. Oh, come on, Eisen. Don't be a sucker I think the, now. I think Dr. Eisen might. The good doctor. He might be. He might be the good doctor after all. What what is happening in private practice right now? I'm what is confused. happening? What is happening? I'm confused. What is happening right I'm now? I'm confused, Teeter. I Come on, like like it. It. I, I, I You don't, don't like it I'm one bit, it. do you? Do you? Look, oh, here we go. They're just gonna cut his hair right here. Not even gonna wait. Not even gonna wait. So, Ison enjoying that sucker. He's got a patient knocked out outside the rain that he could be potentially. Oh! oh no super way, kick no to Burke Candy! Super no. kick to Burke Candy! That's that was revenge. his friend! That was his friend! That's revenge! Like, he, helped, he helped him away. get started in wrestling. Sugar's bad for you, Teeter. No way! No, 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 to the patient. He revived. Revive Gordon Atkins. No Atkins. way, no way. Burt got screwed. And we're going to see bald Burt. I love it. His head's going to look like a gumball. <laughs> oh, look at this. Here he comes. You know, ironically, Walter's Barbershop was one of our sponsors here tonight. Perhaps what, uh, kind of, uh, what an embarrassing moment here. Man. Well, you know, Maxon Maxon did Come go on. to the yeah. online school of cosmetology at the University of Guadalajara, one of the He's finest. Cutting his hair now. now. Come on. I mean, one of the it finest. It only takes one person to cut his hair. Why, why, do, why do we need four of them out here? Why do we need four of them? He's got a lot of hair. A lot of hair, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you know, you got to make sure he has it quite yeah. right. We're going to, yeah. There. Here we go. Make him. Show it Make off. Him. For the camera. All the people at home. Yeah, again, what an embarrassing moment for. Oh, I'm for loving it. Andy. This is really neat. See what I did there, Teeter? This is neat. Uh, not so neat for Bert. That, that. That long, blonde, beautiful surfer boy hair, Bert. I don't even think Bert knows what's going on right now. He's no. out. I mean, he's out still. Yeah, that's I'm super kick. That's super certainly kick. That's just devastating on anyone. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, of all things, I mean, it's from his friend. You know, doc, oh, now look Dr. at that Eisen. money. Might be really nice. Oh, These fans fun. here in Sedalia, they love Bert Candy. So yeah. imagine they could take home a piece of his hair. What that's a great memento, especially since you made him the VIP picture. So, hey, added bonus picture and a little swatch of hair. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What, you got a marketing degree or something uh, from I Guadalajara, could, wherever Dr. Eisen's. The, you know, I, I could go to the Guadalajara online business school. Yeah. 
I might have to do that. Oh. Well, you might, you might, you might want to send uh, Dirty Deeds to this uh, bar, barber school. They offer everything there at the school of Gu- hey. at the online school of Guadalajara. Come on, let's get. Let's. They even still offer TV and VCR repair. Just, people even still use VCRs. And again, Daniel Maxson precisely shaving those locks of Burke Candy as Gannon watches there in the corner. Oh, Money Mike's got that big sucker. Burke Candy certainly is a sucker tonight, losing his hair. Coming out looking like like something out of the Wizard of Oz, the lollipop. Embarrassing moment. All right, I'm going to go put an end to this. Oh, now Teeter's getting up there, getting involved once again. Crowd chanting for Burt Candy. And the crowd here in disbelief. All right, all right, all right. that's enough. That's enough. Private practice being ordered out of the ring by Commissioner Teeter. And Burt just can't believe what happened to him. As he is going to leave Sedalia looking a little differently. And the crowd firmly behind Burt Candy. Crowd showing Burke some respect here. I tell you what, I will give credit where credit's due. Burke put his hair on the line. Unfortunately, he lost, but he is a man of his word. He held through and got his head shaved in front of all the people here in Sedalia, Missouri. Well, facing all those people I just said, Austin, uh, the champion, Big Joe Helms, uh, me and Slammer winning the tag belts. We have been number one contender for the New Breed Tag Team Championships for one whole year, I think. I don't know. I don't keep track of time. But it's been an, an eternity, at least. And in this bout of eternity, me and Slammer have become like brothers. Brother. And when you have a brother, brother, you... You can't break that bond, at least not easily. So I know we're going to win the Tag Team Championships, and I know Slammer's going to hit that leg drop, and I know I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. I know that song's going to blast through the arena, and I know I'm going to hit a beat wave, and I know we're going to get the three count. So if I know that many things, that means we're going to win. Damn, I'm not cutting a promo. Oh, oh, goals. Yeah, me and Slammer are going to win the Tag Team Championships. Duh. So, Bert, thank you so much. I really enjoyed chatting with you. I'm sure the viewers at home did as well. <sighs> I think I'm all worked up, Sal. I think, I think that's good. I think I'm good. All right, you know what? New Breed fans, I love you. I can't wait to see you again. I miss you. Mwah. Ciao. Burt Candy loves you. For New Breed Wrestling, Obsel Sanchez thanking you for watching. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. I don't like them mortars. I don't like them one bit.